Hello, this is Mike with Adam Arrow, and we're going to talk a little bit about processing accounts payable documents today with our software application CapturePoint. Uh, let's start with a quick PowerPoint slide to tell you a little bit about what CapturePoint is, then we'll get into a quick demonstration. Now, CapturePoint is an advanced capture software, and this software is designed to be able to scan documents of many different types of nature, uh, have the software use its world-class OCR technology to go ahead and intelligently index these documents. That means classifying it. What department does it belong in? What kind of document is it? Is it an invoice or a purchase order uh, or some other supporting document? Uh, along with extracting key values that make those documents more useful, uh, easier to find them, maybe taking uh, index information like invoice numbers and amounts and things like that, and then being able to uh, push it into a database, for instance, QuickBooks or Sage Accounting Software, Dynamics, something of that nature. Uh, so that said, let's jump into a demonstration here. And we're looking at the capture screen of Capture Point now. And you'll really have the ability to scan with, uh, with any type of hardware. You might be using desktop scanners. You might be using network production scanners. Or even your, your conveniently uh, uh, placed uh, copy machine to scan documents into Content Central and have it do the auto recognition or intelligent indexing process. So let's go ahead and bring in a small batch of documents to see how this works. And, uh, and what we're going to see is within a few seconds, the software will go through and start to auto-recognize these documents. Uh, now we're going to page through them so I can explain a little bit about how it works. And we can see that it's recognizing this is an accounts payable invoice. We see an orange bar here. We call those document boundaries. That's just the leading edge or identifying that that's the first page of this document. So those two will end up as totally separate documents coming from separate vendors, but we can batch scan these guys in, uh, even dealing with multi-page examples that we see here. And then if we come down a little further in our batch, we actually have some supporting documents with this invoice, which include a packing list and a purchase order, still batch scanning all these guys together, letting the software recognize and determine what these different documents are. Now, uh, you see there's a couple of items up here, we, what we call classification and index. Classifications determining what the department is, maybe accounts receivable, accounts payable, uh, project documents or something of that nature, human resources for instance, then determining what type of document it is, and in this case it's important to know the vendor as well, because one vendor's invoice could be laid out totally different than the next, and we want to make sure we get the, the appropriate index values each time. So let's talk about that. We've identified five fields here that we want to extract each time. Invoice number, PO, vendor, uh, date, and total amount. Now you'll see it's extracted these values in an automated fashion. And even though I go from invoice to invoice, and it might be a different vendor, and the information might be laid out in different locations, it's still extracting that information correctly each time for us. Some cases we see uh, it gets the total amount off the last page because it's not on the first page. Or if we come over to this one, we might be converting a date from spelled out uh, into the numeric format for consistency. Um, and then if we come over, the, the values that we extract from one type of document to the next can be totally different. And since it's identifying that document type, uh, it knows the correct location and what values to extract each time. Now, I'm going to come over to export and uh, let's talk about a typical process for a user. Typically, they're going to come in, uh, they're going to scan these documents in, uh, and they're going to let the system auto-recognize and do what it's supposed to do here. Uh, and then you'll just come straight to export. No need to page through those page by page like we saw there. And if there's any exceptions, which there was a couple in this batch, it will actually alert you and let you know you need to take a look at those now. So let's go ahead and do that. It'll jump us to those specific documents. Uh, in which case we need to uh, identify that the value is correct by simply clicking on there uh, and then seeing that everything is okay. Now if we want to zoom in, maybe look a little closer, you've got additional tools here for being able to do that and then of course being able to just click off uh, on or say everything's okay with that, that exception and then be able to export these documents on to their final location. Uh, Capture Point could send it on to a document management software, Content Central for instance, uh, maybe SharePoint, uh, a folder structure, it could even build folders for you. So lots of different export options here. We'll cover that in another video. If you have any questions or just want to know more about this product, maybe get a customized demo, uh, feel free to let us know uh, and uh, contact us with, with any of that information. Thanks. Have a nice day.